Hello everyone! Again, I'm going to show you how you can make a druzy crystal mold uh, using alum crystals. This time you can watch me make a resin geode shape crystal tray in beautiful bright colors. And also again the flower technique on two layers of resin to create a nice depth. So I hope you, you enjoy watching my video and give me a thumbs up for it. So I already started with uh, mixing the silicon rubber uh, to create that crystal edge for the geode shape tray. And I'm using the silicon rubber from Resin Pro and it's called Eye Gummy. And it has a working time of about 45 minutes and it will also set within an hour. And then you can pour the resin in the mold. As a base I'm using plexiglass because the silicon uh, rubber doesn't stick to this plexiglass. And also the resin will not stick to the plexiglass. But the plexiglass, um, yeah, you only need uh, two millimeters thick because if you are going to remove the resin, then you need to bend the plexiglass and then the resin will come loose. So this second rubber is a ratio of one to one on weight. And I'm using a scale for that. And you mix it together because it has two colors, a yellow and a white color. And uh, you need to mix it until it is one color. And then you can make the barriers for the mold. There you can see me add the alum crystals. And these alum crystals are left over from another project. And... I need to explain that a little bit more. I may also make druzy inlay molds and I uh, use a base mold for that. And then I pour the mixture of alum salt and water, hot water, on top of my base mold in a small container. And on the bottom of that container, there are all also some crystals formed. And those are the crystals that I'm using. But I will include a link in the right corner in which I show how you can make a druzy inlay mold. And then you will also see the leftover crystals that I keep. I don't throw them away. And there are large crystals but also small. There you can see me add some larger crystals. So I have a working time of 45 minutes, so that's long enough to uh, add the crystals into the silicon. And this silicon rubber is non-toxic, so I don't need to use uh, uh, gloves. And also no mask. And after an hour, the silicon rubber is cured and then you can use it to pour the resin in. Yeah, this takes a little bit of time because I want to have a nice sparkly edge. Yeah, I thought why not make a tray. I already made some coasters. And now I'm going to make a tray. And this tray is about 20 by 30 centimeters. Maybe a little bit larger. And before I'm pouring the resin into it, I'm going to clean the plexiglass with a little bit of alcohol. And of course I need to remove the alum crystals. I'm not going to show you that because it's very easy. The alum crystals dissolve 
in hot water. So I clean it with hot water and then you can use it. So the silicon rubber barriers are cured. I cleaned it with hot water as I mentioned. And um, now I'm going to pour a thin layer of resin into the mold. And I'm using the craft resin. It's a low viscosity re resin with a 35 minute working time. So it's very fast. But that also means that I don't have to wait that long before I'm going to add my flower design and the colors. The link to the website is in the description. I have added three links, one for UK, one for the USA and one for Europe. And if you buy through that link, then you will get 5% discount. So that's amazing. I'm using a heat gun to remove air bubbles and the barrier looks great so that's nice hopefully it sparkles so around the center I'm adding some really nice glitter that I'm testing and this is the glitter from Glitter Queen the link to her website is in the description it's a small Dutch company, but I also added some of my mirror glass into it. And this is the color nature. The glitter is in the color iridescent white moonlight. Very nice sparkly glitter that shifts from magenta to blue and green and yellow. It's really nice. So if you're interested in the glitter the link to her website is in the description and if you use my code PETRA10 in capitals then you will get 10% discount but all the information to that is in the description adding a little bit more of the glitter and also some mirror glass Yeah, I already know that the edge, the outer edge, will look amazing because also I did this also with my coasters. And, but yeah, in the center I've also added uh, some crystal, silicon crystal part. So hopefully that will also work. So the first color is a resin ink from Etter Art in the color uh, Mango and um, the link to the website uh, where you can buy these resin inks is in the description. The website is called resinkunst.de and also for that website I have a promo code. If you use my code PETRA10 then you will get 10% discount. But all the information to my promo codes is in the description. The second color that I've used is also from Et Art and it's the color Campari and this is an alcohol ink from Ranger in the color Honeycomb. So very nice bright colors. Now I'm blending those colors. So we are 10 minutes later and I'm going to add the flower design. I'm using uh, only uh, Resitint Max Titanium White, so no Let's Resin Alcohol ink mixed into it. So I want to see the difference if I'm not adding that alcohol ink. And you only need a little bit of white paste in the resin because if you add too much then the color will get too heavy and will sink to the bottom or drop to the bottom so only a little bit so now I'm making some lines with my dotting tool from the inside to the outside there you can see it 
to create a, create a nice pattern. And this is only the first layer. Also a little bit on top of the glitter to create that depth. And now only lines from the white to the outside. Using my embossing tool to remove air bubbles but also to create effects. And then I'm done with this uh, first layer. I will let it dry for at least 24 hours and then I'm going to add a second layer. So we are 24 hours later, going to add the second layer and as you can see I removed the MDF uh, board underneath because that wasn't a success. The plexiglass bended a little bit. So now I have it flat on my table, I have some tape around the edges and now it will stay flat. Because if the plexiglass bends a little bit, because it's very thin then um, the resin will move and I don't want that. So again I'm using the craft resin, a thin layer. And there are a lot of air bubbles in it so I need to remove those because it's not nice if there are still air bubbles in the cured piece. But I have already some nice effects. And the glitter in the center is amazing. Adding a little bit more of the really nice glitter. The iridescent white moonlight or white iridescent moonlight. I'm also adding a little bit on top of the darker orange color. There you can see it sparkle. Very nice. So far I'm very pleased with this uh, glitter. And I'm, ha I'm, I'm using, uh, I'm testing, going to test more of this glitter. So the first color again, the mango. And now on top, also an experiment. This is the Let's Resin ink, alcohol ink. One drop on top of the mango to see what kind of effects I can create. And this color is the Ranger alcohol ink in the color Honeycomb that I also used in the first layer. So I'm not going to use the darker orange color, the Campari. So I will leave this for 10 minutes and then I will add the flower design. There you can see it. Again, the Resi Tint Max Titanium White, only dispaced, so no alcohol ink mixed into it. And what I also want to mention is normally I add the alcohol ink colors after I wait it for 10 minutes, in this case. But now I added it first and then 
uh, waited 10 minutes because if you wait uh, for 10 minutes then the resin already uh, is setting a little bit so it's thicker and then the colors will not spread that much so that's why I've added it before my waiting time again I'm going to make lines from the inside to the outside there you can see it again I'm almost done with this second layer and I need to let this dry for 24 hours and then I will take it out of the mold Before I'm going to take it out of the mold, I want to show you how it looks after one hour of drying and it has an amazing depth, hopefully you can see it, and some great effects and I love those colors. I love to work with bright colors, as you all know, and the sparkle is amazing of that glitter, there you can see it shift from green to purple and blue, very nice. So hopefully it will stay this way. But yeah, you, you never know. Doing drying can change a lot. Then I'm trying to show you the sparkle of the glitter. So we are 24 hours later, now I'm going to remove my resin geode tray from the plexiglass. I turn it around and what I do is I um, push in the middle, there you can see it, and I lift the corners and then the resin will come loose. And for the silicon barriers I didn't use hot glue to stick them on, I only cleaned them. And then you can place it on plexiglass and then it's good to go. It will stick, but you can remove it very easy. Now I'm going to remove the barrier. I'm very curious how it looks. Because I also used larger alum crystals to create that rough crystal uh, look. And that's very easy to remove, there you can see it, no problems there. So I didn't show you the center part because that was not easy to remove. And that was because of the larger crystals I used. So I need to, needed to cut it out with a knife. And uh, that's what I did. So it was very time consuming. So I need to uh, find out how I can make a nice center silicon crystal piece. But yeah, it's uh, still nice. This is the side how I poured it, it has some great effects and the crystal edge is amazing. Then I'm trying to show you the glitter and the colors have blended nicely together, some great effects. There you can see it. Also the Let's Resin Alcohol Ink White that I dropped into the orange color. Uh, also a great effect. This is the center, also with the crystals and the glitter. There I'm trying to show you it up close, but it's very difficult to uh, film this because it sparkles a lot. And then the camera has uh, difficulty focusing. But it has a great depth, so I'm very pleased with this side. There I'm showing you the outer crystal druzy edge, very nice. So 
So I'm very pleased with my uh, second experiment with this crystal edge. And for sure I'm going to uh, experiment with it more. Because I like it very much. Hopefully you also like it. And this is the other side. A totally different effect. But also very nice. A great depth. And I don't know which side I like more. Uh, more. I think you can use this on both sides. Again, the crystal edge. So let me know what you think of my uh, resin geode crystal flower tray. And which side you like the most or both. Or you don't like it, that's also possible. So all the information to the supplies I've used you can find at the end of the video. But also in the description below this video with a link to the websites. And don't forget, I have a lot of promo codes with some nice discounts. You can find all the information also in the description below this video. I will include some links in the right corner for you to, from uh, videos for you to watch um, that are interesting maybe for you. So I'm very pleased. I hope you also liked watching this video and maybe I will see you in my next video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!